Grand Prix of Plymouth in powerboats Honda Formula Four Stroke Championships. Hello from Plymouth. Now stop what you're doing and start those engines because the powerboat Armada is arriving and about to do battle on the waters of Devon. Meanwhile, in the second race, Screamit.com made an excellent start. That's it, that's it. Good work, good work. Right, come on, final stretch. And held it all the way to the end. Once you get into the lead for the first time in your life, and then you get towards the end of a race for the first time in your life, you think, <laughs> I just don't want to break down you know, or run out of fuel or you know, anything like that. That's it. Okay. It was a classy performance, but what was Nicky's role in all of this? When we're in front, it's pressure on, you know, Rich, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. And then as you see the lead grow and grow, I'm not telling him to back off, but I'm sort of not putting so much pressure on. And then the last lap, it was like, right, come on, just in case, let's go. Yeah! We've done it, we've done it. Well, that was the reaction. Fantastic. For ScreamIt.com, they took the win. Uh, head of Premier Crew in second place. Rupert View with Heights of Abraham. And Rupert's doing pretty well, but it looks to me as though Richard George and Nicky Sanders maybe just ahead, maybe not. Heights of Abraham coming back at them again. Come on! Come on! Over to your left. Keep going, keep going. Put down, put down! Put down, put down! Nicky just as encouraging. But watch out for Negotiator trying to come between those two boats and got several little battles going on here as we approach the first mark. Heights of Abraham on the inside, but Scream It going to try and take the line first of all with Negotiator in the middle here. The reigning champions and points leaders want to get in front if possible. But they've got a real race on their hands here. And Scream It in front, in fact, Negotiator are they second? Are they third? They're going to sweep around the outside and I think into second place pretty much ahead of them. They're just at the back of that group. You just see them dropping back a fraction actually. They lost a length or two. Perhaps that was a scary moment. It's Scream It that are leading. Come on, Rich. Get around it. Get around it. It's on. Come on. Richard and Nicky. That's it. They prefer these slightly smoother conditions. But look who's coming to join the party. It's Negotiator. Ooh, trying to squeeze through at the first mark, but no way through there. And a tight line on the inside, in fact, a mistake from Vortigan. They... Exactly the same as last time. Come on. Get it back. Get it back. Don't worry. Oh, no. It's gone wrong for Scream It. Nikki's out. She's in the water. Well, Richard trying to get everything sorted out here. But Nikki, it happened so fast, didn't it? Team Williams slowing down to check to see what's going on. A real player going past as well. Jacqueline Dinning and Simon Butnell. Richard's still trying to sort something out in the boat so that he can presumably turn back and try and pick her up. But, uh, well, she's okay. She's obviously upright. She's conscious, which is always the critical thing. And Oh, and over has gone Vortigan now. My goodness, what's going on here? Boat this time completely upside down. Meanwhile, Nikki's being dragged <laughs> unceremoniously back into the cockpit of Scream It. Oh, dear. <laughs> she doesn't look very, very up for getting back into this race, does she? That was all a bit of a shock to the system, I think. And now, finally, she's in position. And hopefully, 